Okay, good morning, everybody. So my parents are here. My dad literally already made banana bread. Saw our rotten bananas and he's like, give me those. <laughs> Was he not like that? Oh yeah. I've never seen anybody whip up banana bread that fast. He's like, come on, where is it? Where's your ingredients? So I'm making the chili right now because we're gonna go. So I'm gonna have it running while I'm there, but I'm a fan of the crock pot liners. I'm gonna go grab that really quick. I hope I have some because if I don't- That's gonna be a huge mess. It's gonna be a problem. Oh, yeah. Do you use the liners? I always have to use the liners. I don't uh -uh. Oh my god, it's so much easier to clean it up. Cause my, does yours come out too, the black? Yeah. yeah. This is the secret family recipe. You know which what? I think I've showed, what? I, oh yeah, you do have two. You have two of these, right? I have three. Oh yeah, yeah. I do three. Yeah. Cause I think it's, yep, that's the best way to that's do it. it. But this is like the, mo the proprietary, right? Yes. Chilio. Yeah, two of them. You do two? Two. <gasps> Good thing I bought that. I actually thought it was oh, only I one. Two, yeah. Okay, bro. But this is also the main thing you need. I yeah. mean, pretty I much. like the Brooks. Um, the hot, specifically the hot Brooks. And then you need one can of bl or two, right? Yeah. One two, or two. Two can of black beans. Two can of black beans, diced or stewed tomatoes. You, I feel like you used to just stewed. Doesn't but matter. Pinto beans, and then I do three cans of green chilies. This makes it a little bit spicy. Yeah. And then you need two of these. So I'm just gonna begin opening these with the. I literally bought this just for for chili season. Yeah. I mean, how nice is that? Yeah. Oh, I love mine. Getting ready to go to the Art Institute. We're actually going today because, thank God I looked, but it's closed <laughs> Monday and Tuesday. So that's a good thing that I looked because they that was like the one thing that they really, well, my mom really wanted to do. So I was gonna say my dad, but I don't think my dad cares. And then we'll come back and watch football. So I'm getting ready. I've been kind of planning on wearing this outfit for the Art Institute day because this is the one I bought it from Francesca's. So yeah, I'm making the chili. My dad made banana bread as I was kind of telling you about and it looks really good. And I had him use vegan egg and vegan butter. So I've been hearing great things about this, but I'm also gonna use my new foundation. Yay. So hopefully, oh yeah, this is really light. But honestly, it's a good match. <laughs> I haven't used this foundation in so long because where's my old one? I have it still. Oh yeah, here, look. It has dust on it. Look at this. Like, am I, am, I have to be kidding, right? Like, I have to be kidding. What is this? Light beige. What was I doing wearing this foundation? Like, it's just crazy. The other day when I was talking about how when I use light foundations, it has to look, it looks worse before it looks better. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, where I look kind of sickly like right now. This is such a good match, like, it's actually crazy. I look like a ghost, but it's a good match. <laughs> but I love this e.l.f. little contour wand. So, all right, I'm going to continue to blend this out, and then we will come back for the final look when I am done. Okay, makeup is done. Just did the usual today, nothing crazy. Anyway. Let's go. Okay, doing a taste test of the banana bread. Everybody grab your tea. Come on in. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Wow. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. Which is what makes it good. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Wow, we got a baker here. Oh, yeah. I got some competition over here. <laughs> mm. I told you I don't mess around with that. Zucchini bread. Mm. This is really good. It's really good. Thank you. 
but it's closed. <laughs> so we came all the way here. We asked for uh, if we could just go to the Art Institute. I think we're the only people here that even wanted to do that. Literally. And first of all, they were they looked at us with, with horror, but it's completely closed. So we probably should have known that, but we're having fun at Oktoberfest anyway. All right, we're home. We've got the chili. Putting some cheese on. Yum. This looks perfect. Yum. Yum. It's the end of the day and we just had so much fun today. Just so much fun. It was just a blast. Like, I, it's so funny because when I do things like go to Oktoberfest, I have a great time. I have these things in my head and let me just try to explain this before the end of the night. But if we had not had that mishap happen, I never would have gone to Oktoberfest. I knew about it. I heard that this was going on. I tried to get you to go. You tried to get me to go, and I was like, no, don't care. Like, that's just not my my scene. But when the Art Institute was closed, we were like, okay, well, we already paid to get in, so we might as well hang around here. Because we already had paid, like, for parking, and then we paid to get in. And we're like, all right, well, obviously, we just need to, you know, make the most of it now. But I never would have gone... And the thing that holds me back a lot of the time is the parking. I just, I get very anxious about parking and where am I gonna park? Is it gonna be hard to get to my car? Is it gonna be hard to get out? Is there gonna be traffic? And I feel like I should just not let that stop me because I have so much fun and then I have good memories when I'm there. And then there was something else that also holds me back where I'm kind of, oh, the other thing that holds me back, sometimes I feel like I need to be there for a really long time, but it's like, no, you can just go for an hour and that could be it. And actually it's probably better if you just go for an hour or something like that. So like, I don't have to spend all this like super ton of time there. And we just had a fun day and everybody was so happy to be there. And we're not even like, we don't, none of us drink beer. Not, I can't even eat a freaking brat. My mom doesn't eat meat. <laughs> like, we just don't, there was like no food. There was one soft serve, like ice cream that was actually pretty good. It was dairy free, but it was just fun to like, be there. And like, everybody was happy and there's just music everywhere. And it was just kind of low key and everybody was dressed up. I'm a huge fan of people dressing up. Or stuff like that. I wish there was more stuff where I could just get dressed up and like really go all out for stuff. That's why I loved going to the concerts and speaking of the concerts, you know, we've had this plan for a while to watch football this Sunday, which by the way, we finally downloaded YouTube TV. We ended up going with YouTube TV because that's what my parents have and we just love it. We're like, why didn't we get YouTube TV before? It's so much better, but and Jarvis got me the Hallmark channel, so I hear a lot of people actually watch the fall Hallmark and I need to watch like the Thanksgiving theme ones and the fall ones because I heard those are pretty good too if you like Hallmark stuff which I do but anyway so we're watching the Bears game obviously like you know we're all from Chicago so we're like well, let's watch the Bears even though they're horrible but today we're like maybe they'll upset you know so we start watching who do I see right away Taylor's in the box with her new bows. Mom, I couldn't believe it. Like, I honestly thought that they weren't really dating, but I think that they kind of are. So uh, she looked really happy and honestly, just good for her. Honestly, just good for her. Like, I'm here for it, okay? And I think this is gonna do great things for the football industry. It was just fun. So, I mean, the Bears got absolutely smacked today it's just embarrassing it's it's really hard to be a bears fan and i'm not by the way i totally jumped ship as soon as i could i went to the Bengals, <laughs> so that's my parents cross to bear now but anyway that was what we did today i didn't get like a ton of footage but um hopefully we have some more fun tomorrow and yeah if you like this video leave a like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow bye